Jamal Nyers here with Kay Musa, who's well underway with his training camp for ACV 87. Last time we spoke, you didn't have an opponent lined up, but you had the fight date. We yeah. now know that it's Robert Whiteford. Yeah. How excited are you for this one? For this fight, I'm, you know, I'm super excited. This is a fight that we wanted. Last time I spoke to you, we were aware that we wanted the fight. It's just that we didn't have it finalised. This is a fight where I'm going to be able to showcase, you know, exactly who I am as a fighter. I'm going to be able to show everybody that, you know, that, you know, us at all powers here at all powers, you know, we're world class fighters, and you know, and the cane is going to come in that cage and demonstrate exactly why, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a world beater. This is your first main event with ACB. Yeah. How much are you relishing this opportunity? You know, I'm grateful to, to ACB for giving me this opportunity. You know, shout out to everybody down there. You know, you've got Brian, you've got Carl, you've got Frank May. You've got all the other, you know, all the, all the people involved in the association. So I'm grateful for them for giving me the main event spot. But I'll be honest with you, I'm ready for it. Uh, you know, I've worked hard, I've, I've, I've grinded, I've shown that, you know, I beat Alex Ellendu who was the Cage Warriors champion. So I've demonstrated that I've got not just, you know, the ability to fight, but I've got the personality and the character and the persona to match uh, the position of a main event. Robert's tested himself at the UFC level. Yeah. What does a win over him do for your career? Well, you, a win for Robert is basically, it demonstrates the level that I'm at. You know, Robert went into the UFC, was unable to... Um, hack it at that level, he was a unable to keep up with the pace. I'm going to go in the cage and demonstrate to Robert exactly the reason why, you know, and reiterate to him the reason why he wasn't at that level and I'm that level. Uh, and he's going he's gonna to find out May 19th. There's been a lot of back and forth between you both on Twitter, which has got the fans talking. Where did this animosity stem from? The animosity stemmed from basically, you know, I, I, put, I, put, I put it out there that I wanted to fight Robert. Robert seemed to have got it back up, but it's a fight game, so we each to their own. He come at me aggressively. I'm listening, I'm not a bully. I'm not somebody that, that likes to start beef in the respect of, if it's beef, it's beef. But for me, if, if my opponent wants to be humble and say, look, Kane called me out, he's a good fighter, let's do it, then I'll keep it on that terms. The thing was with Robert, he was a person that tried to initiate the first bit of aggravation. Um, he was talking about... You know, if, it, if, if I see, I heard an interview of him basically saying, "Look, nobody gets, nobody calls me out. If this was back in the day, then I'd be turning up to your door with a baseball bat." So for me, I don't, I don't respect that. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, I'm someone who will fight fire with fire. So, yeah, it is, it is what it is. We're going to fight May 19th, and I'm going to be able to showcase my ability. When he said stuff like that. Do you see yourself shaking his hand after the fight? Listen, a fight's a fight. At the end of the day, you already know I've got no personal feelings towards Robert. I think he's a little munchkin. I'm going to punch his little head in. But after the fight, it is what it is. If he wants to shake hands, we can shake hands. But for now, we're, you know, we're enemies, we're rivals. And um, you know, I'm going to go in there and demonstrate exactly why I'm a dangerous rival. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding the sport of MMA, and I'd like to have your opinion on yeah. what took place last week yeah. in New York yeah. with Conor McGregor. Do you feel like, even though he's the biggest athlete in the sport by yeah. a mile, do you think it, it's difficult for up-and-coming fighters like yourself that a fighter like him is gaining all the, the mainstream media attention for doing something negative? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, look, if it wasn't for Conor, the MMA scene wouldn't be where it was. And that's the top and bottom of it. At the end of the day, look, he's dealt with the situation in, entirely how he felt like he wants to deal with it. You know, at the end of the day, his, his, his teammate was put in a position and Conor felt, you know, like he wanted to defend his, de defend his teammate the way he went around it. Could it, have been, could it have been done a bit better? Well, you know, so, some would say yes and some would say no. All I say is, look, us as, us as MMA fighters, we're here to demonstrate what, what skill set we've got and that we're here to be professionals um, to the best of our ability. You know, it's not just the MMA scene where you see things happening. It, it happens in all. You, you see it on football pitches. You see people writing on football pitches and having fights. You see people in the music industry having fights. You know, and we are actually in the fight business. We are all fighters and I understand professionalism. Sometimes it can't be helped, so it is what it is. I mean, you strike me as a very loyal person yourself yeah. and he's acted out of that way, yep. seemingly through loyalty yep. to one of his friends. Do you sympathise with his actions? I sympathise in the respect of I understand where he's coming from. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a team player. And anybody that's on my team, if somebody tries to do something to them, if I'm there, then believe me, I will, I will defend my, my teammate to the death. And I, just, I respect his loyalty to his team. And at the end of the day, people can say what they want to say. But, you know, put, being put in Connor's, Connor's position and it being your teammate, um, you know, who could say what they'd do?
Another big talking point was the amount of opponent changes Khabib Nurmagomedov had yeah. during last week. That must be like a nightmare scenario for you as a fight. How do you think you would deal with that? You know, I, I, I had a similar situation when I, when I was supposed to fight Ellis Sampson on Tanko. You know, on the day of the weigh-ins, he pulled out. He couldn't make the weight. So then I had to get a, a standing opponent on the day of the weigh-ins. Um, and, I, and even after the weigh after I weighed in, I still wasn't aware of who it was. So I've been in that position myself. And I think when you're confident and you, you know what it is that you're coming to do and you know you're there to win, you know, at the level that Khabib's at as well, especially being Khabib's level, you know, it didn't matter who, who they put in there with him. He was going to win that fight. And that was the top and bottom, whether he had to wrestle them, strike them, kick them, punch them. He, you know, you could see it in his eyes. The hunger was there and that's what he wanted to do. So he got the job done. You've been drilling some grappling here today. Yeah. Is, is that your mindset in terms of the location where the fight is going to take place or is this simply just another day in training? No, this is another day. Listen, at the end of the day, what is Robert better than me? What area is he better than me? No area. No area. Not in the striking, is he better? Not in the strength, is he stronger? Not in the size, is he bigger? When it comes to the grappling, I'm a grappler. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a wrestler. So grappling today is just, like I said, it's just an everyday occurrence that we do. Um, I'm grapple fit, I'm strike fit, I'm mentally fit. So, you know, Robert's got a hard fight on his hands. And it is a stack card in Nottingham yeah. in May. Are there any fights that you're looking forward to Every as a fan? one of them. Every single one of them fights on, on ACB card, I'm excited for. We've got a big announcement coming today as well, so I'm not going to spoil that. But, you know, there's a lot of fights. Look, you've got everybody's on there. A lot of Manchester fighters are on there. A lot of English fighters are on there. And you've got some international big names. So for me, hats off to all the guys down at ACB, um, you know, Ibrahim, Adam, all of the guys who have worked hard and, and been able to put this card together. Hats off to them guys. Give the fans one reason, if they've not bought a ticket or they're not planning on tuning in, give them a reason why they should tune in. The reason you should tune in, and I'm going to tell you this straight, is because when I'm on a fight card or when I'm on a fight, any type of fight, it's fireworks. So if you want to see people getting punched in the face real hard and you want to see high level competitors going at it, then make sure you come down there. And also you already know what time it is, Bad Sport all day every day will be in the building. What a great way to finish. No Thanks problem. a lot. Thank Cheers. You.